So, in case you haven't noticed, Hillary Clinton seems to be sick. And she also seems to be ill, like she's not feeling too well or something. Hey guys, so the internet has been abuzz lately with people talking about Hillary Clinton and her health. So there's been a bunch of pictures and videos that have come out that have led people to believe that she has some sort of neurological disorder or, you know, she's generally just unfit to be president because she's ill. And at first, I didn't want to join in on this conversation because I felt like some of the initial examples, like pictures and videos of her, you know, trying to exemplify her being sick were a little bit reaching. Like, they didn't seem to be super concrete. Like, I saw one where she was leaning on a railing and other people were leaning on a railing with her and people were saying, oh, she can't walk. It's kind of like, really? But as the weeks have gone by, some more stuff has come out and it's kind of had me like, okay, something's wrong with this bitch. So here is the first and the most talked about clip. And how you talk about Senator Warren? Did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Warren? So the speculation here is that Hillary had some sort of seizure or involuntary neurological response to multiple reporters asking her questions at once. And you have to admit that her head doing that really violent bobbing motion, coupled with, you know, her eyes going crazy, really did seem involuntary. <laughs> because regardless of how you spin it or you look at it, her response was not appropriate or indicative of someone who's aware of their surroundings. It went on for way too long and it was way too dramatic to be a joke. So let's take a look at the next piece of evidence that something is wrong with Hillary. Take a look at this guy. So this guy has been seen pretty much everywhere with Hillary and you would think just by, you know, his attire that he's a bodyguard or a secret service, maybe even an advisor, but he's also been seen wearing this badge which shows that he's actually a paramedic. So a paramedic is following Hillary Clinton around. He's also been seen holding what some people say is some kind of injection or injectable device. Personally, I think that one's a little hard to tell. Anytime Hillary is on stage and appears to be in some sort of like stress-induced frozen state, he rushes over and like coaches her back to reality. So this clip is pretty weird for multiple reasons. This guy seems to be helping Hillary through her situation as if she's about to go into some sort of panic or seizure. He also repeatedly makes sure that she continues talking, almost as if if she stops, something bad will happen. You okay. Keep talking. You handle it. We're not keep talking. Okay. We'll keep talking. And she seems to actually go blank quite a bit. In this next clip, she seems to be like a grandma with dementia, forgetting where she's at. A upward spiral of a upward spiral. There's also the fact that she has to have handlers basically carry her up staircases and prop her up. I mean, she's no spring chicken, but she's not 85 either. And being the president of the United States is taxing both mentally and physically. So if she's not there physically and she's not there mentally, then why should people feel comfortable voting for her? So here's where things really seem to tie together. Four years ago, Hillary Clinton was treated for a blood clot in her head. Symptoms of blood clots, weakness, problems with vision or speech, a upward spiral, seizures. <laughs> and even scarier, after her blood clot, she was seen wearing Fresnel prism glasses. These are special glasses designed to stop someone from having to see double. And it really is just a fact that if you're wearing Fresnel prism glasses, you have double vision without them. All of this really leads people to believe that that blood clot did some real damage. And call me crazy, but I think it's completely necessary and legitimate to question the health of our public servants, especially a potential president. But here's where things get a little weird. There seems to be some sort of effort to cover up speculations about Hillary's health. Some of you guys might know Dr. Drew, who's had a hit TV show for years. Well, he recently made news for questioning Hillary's health publicly, saying that after he reviewed her health records, he feared that she was on the verge of having a pulmonary embolism. A few days later, his TV show was canceled. Gone. David Seaman, who was a Huffington Post contributor, had his articles about Hillary's health deleted randomly, and he was fired from his position. No explanation, just fired. And those articles in particular, deleted. 
I mean, obviously this is all speculative, right? But don't be so quick to brand it as conspiratorial because you have to keep in mind plenty of candidates have had their health questioned publicly. John McCain for a very recent example. I mean, I think people have a right to know if they're voting for Hillary Clinton as president or Tim Kaine as president because something happens to her down the line and he takes over. Overall, if you can overlook this, fine, but I think that a lot of the concerns are completely warranted. But with that being said, love you guys. I will see you in the next video, which tell me what you guys want to see in the next video because I have nothing planned because I'm a really great YouTuber. <laughs> Bye guys.